Hi guys, it's Hannah here with you today and I've got some fresh lyrics for you today from none other than the purest Holy Spirit of the Living God and as always, I hope that it blesses you, I hope that it encourages you, empowers you and points you towards Abba. So guys, this one is called Pardon me guys, this one is called You Will Reap What You Sow. So guys, we're living in a time where some people will delude themselves into thinking they can continue in wickedness and escape the justice, the wrath of God. Yes, God love prevails. God's mercy extends towards you. And it is often God's mercy that keeps the justice at bay. But there comes a time when one continues in evil. And our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, being the just God that he is, he will not sit idly by. He will not. So, there are definitely times that recompense is required and God alone decides those times so I would like to encourage you none of us are perfect when we fall short especially those who are in Christ we can come before him we can repent we can allow his transformational power to cleanse us to redeem us to renew us to revive us and to restore us to a place of good standing with him However, if you're watching this and you're not yet in Christ, you don't have that privilege. And certainly that does not mean that if you pray, he will not hear you because his mercy shines on the just and the unjust. But I would encourage you, if you're watching this and you've not yet given your life to Christ, consider doing so speedily. He loves you with an everlasting love is what he said. And he sent his son just to give you an eternal life with him in freedom in restoration in hope in courage and peace so please do not take that for granted in any way shape or form so guys yes this is called you will reap what you sow and as always i hope that it blesses you i hope it empowers you I hope that it encourages you and ultimately draws you closer in your walk with God Those who sow in tears, they shall reap in joy. Those who sow in love, they shall reap in grace. Those who sow in peace. They shall reap in hope. Those who sow in hate, they shall reap in woe. Oh, surely, oh, surely, you will reap what you. The way God desires for you, for you to give him your heart, and let him work in you, strive to walk in love. And turn your back on hate. You were created for greatness. 
is you. Don't show hate, please so love. Don't show bitterness, so forgiveness. Because you will reap what you sow. You can't sow seeds of thorns and expect to get a fresh harvest. Oh no, no. You will reap what you sow. Oh, don't forget it. Please don't forget. You will reap what you sow. Guys, remember the God we serve, He's just, He's holy, He's righteous. And we who are in Christ, we have His Holy Spirit within us. To direct us, to guide us, to instruct us, to redirect us at times, to scold us, to revive us, to help us to become all that the Lord God Almighty desires us to be, so that we can continue sowing good seeds, so that we can strive to sow love and never hate, so that we can remember to turn our backs on hate. Because the world is in a dire place right now. And I hate to say it. I think that's because for the most part, many of us have not turned our backs on hate. And myself included. Like, there have been times I have had the Holy Spirit remind me. Even the smallest seed of hate can bring destruction. So we have to be quick to repent and even quicker to walk in the love of God. So be encouraged, my brothers, my sisters in Christ. Be encouraged, you who are viewing this. God loves you. He treasures you. And he desires you to sow seeds of love, peace, and hope. So that you can reap the bountiful harvest that he has in store. Just for you and just for me. Okay, guys, take care. Be blessed. Bye.